everybody. So today I'm going to introduce to you a drawing game. This one is called Drawing Translation. It's based on a game that you might have played as, played as a kid. I know I played this when I was a kid. A bunch of your friends would jump into the swimming pool and go underwater and try to relay one word to one another. So one friend would say apple and the other friend would hear balloon. And then that friend would say balloon to the next friend and they would hear pumpkin. So you come up and you laugh about it because the translation did not work. So this is sort of the same idea except in a drawing form. So what we're going to need are sheets of paper, different colored pencils so that everybody can have their own color. And then what you want to do is everybody write down a simple sentence like a boy throws a ball. And once you write that sentence down, let's do it. You're going to fold that paper over and pass it secretly to your friend. They will look at the writing and then try to illustrate that. And once they've illustrated that, they'll fold, fold that over and pass it to the next friend. And that friend can only look at the drawing that they've done. Remember, you don't have to draw anything with a lot of skill. This can be stick figures. It's about having fun more than it is about making the perfect drawing. So <clears throat> they'll pass that image that they drew to the next friend and that friend has to write down a sentence that they think that that drawing is about. So let's take a look and we're actually gonna do this with a group of people so you guys can see. Okay, so you guys write your sentence. Can anybody see? Nope. Anybody else? Do you know? I don't see it. Okay. I don't want to go stupid. Does it have to be a sentence? Yeah. Okay. Do whatever you want. Okay, so you guys all done? I'm all done. I can pass. pass. Okay. Are we? Yep, and so now. Quick read the sentence that don't show to anybody else and then draw a picture. Okay. Just fold it up. That doesn't this doesn't Shh. make sense. Okay, ask Parker. It says the a monkey. Don't say it outside out loud. Ask Parker to square in his ear. La 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 la, we can't hear you. Do, 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 Everybody's concentrating so hard, it's quiet in here. Nice. Who am I switching to? You're going to pass it to your mom. And the Parker's going to pass it to me. <laughs> and then you have to write a sentence from Parker's picture. Oh. Do you so want me mom. to come around to sit by you to help you write it? Okay. Do you feel good about writing it? Okay. They're like nuts, they're artists over here. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, so you can like turn it over and then pass it to Parker. <coughs> Ready? And Parker passes it to you, and then to you have to write. No, so don't don't read that. You gotta write your own sentence down here. What do you think is going on yeah, in but that I drawing? But I. Did, or did you already write that sentence? This is. You didn't write that sentence, no, right? No, I wrote that no. that sentence. Your came mom from did. Somewhere else. Yeah. So what do you think is happening in that drawing? Yeah, but I gotta read it. No, you can't read it. You gotta guess from the drawing. We're trying to decide if our- A dog's pooping in the toilet? Yeah, I think that's what's happening too, so write that down. Tell me if you need spelling help. He writes so big. Make okay. it a capital we'll squeeze G. It in. Capital G, that's good. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right, I think maybe I, I have a good, I've, I've, I've narrowed it down to one of 17 possibilities. I don't know how to spell it. I don't know. Okay, T. T. Oh. I. O. T O I. I. L. L. E. T. You got it. You sounded it up. Okay, let's see the big reveal. What do we have? The big reveal? I think Daniel should go. A dog poops <laughs> in a toilet bowl. A dog poops in a toilet bowl. Same I thing. wish I had a dog close. that poops a dog in a poops toilet, in the toilet bowl. It's pretty close. You got really close. But what do that, you have here? But does that count? Yeah. Mm -hmm, you got it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, um, so. A monkey juggling watermelons. And I wrote, a monkey um, goes bananas. A monkey, monkey goes, goes bananas. bananas. <laughs> Wait, what okay, I have... The boy spills water on the cat, and I have baseball player oiling a cat. <laughs> oiling a cat. Is, it, is that is that something? Is that something? Is that a thing? Do you I need don't to think oil that's cats? Legal in okay. the game of baseball. All right. I thought maybe it was a special play, a baseball player <laughs> oiling a cat. All right, that's that cool. Parker. That's cool. So you're the closest, really. Yeah. yeah. The cat was all. Freaked out because cats hate water. <laughs> he, yeah, he does look freaked out. He does cool. kind of look a little perturbed. He's like, "What's going on here?" And that grin on the boy's face, like, "Yeah, mischievous." <laughs> and and look at Daniel Dean's that one. It's funny. Funny. This is a funny game. <laughs> All right, thanks you guys. You well, did great. Thank you, You're Lori. Welcome. I want to do this again. You did great. Thank you. <laughs> Okay guys, so that is how the drawing game, drawing translation works. Remember you can play it with all ages. It's fun for your family. It's fun for at school. It's great when you're stuck in traffic. So thanks for playing along. I hope you guys have fun. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, LZM Studio, where I frequently release quick tips and all kinds of different ideas about drawing. Also check out my Facebook and my Instagram page. I like to show um, photographs of my artwork, of my students' artwork, and share funny stories from my students on those pages. And then check out my website, lzmstudio.com, where you're going to find more inspiration and um, full-length, detailed tutorials. <laughs>